I chose Michigan because of the opportunity that it allowed me to have. Coming from Sarasota and being able to come to a tremendous university like this, it's a no-brainer for me. It's not exactly RBU, though. It is now. <laughs> it is now. Dominating. Just as Higdon is in the ground game. Look at him go. Touchdown. He certainly has gotten better every year. You're just seeing, you know, the next step in his progression. That's kind of been the hallmark for him as a player is serious hunger because he's so hard on himself. He's really always focused on different ways he can improve his game. The biggest thing that's changed for me this year is the way I've attacked everything. Something as simple as taking care of your body. I've been in and out of the treatment room, making sure I'm rehabbing properly, making sure I'm attacking practice each day like I am the best back in the country. Patterson to Higdon! Touchdown, Michigan! When I get the handoff, I'm really just looking at, you know, what's happening in front of me. And it's a quick process. I'm looking at the linebacker, okay, did he move over? Did the three technique loop out? What is the defense doing? And the first time I see a hole, I'm hitting it. You just see him every single time, just hit the hole. And I mean, excitement, that's all I could say. Every time you see him, it just bam, bam, bam. It was just like uh, Marshawn Lynch almost. It's just like, he's, he's just a bruiser, man. He built himself into the type of back who's capable of doing that. He got stronger, he bulked up. He's carried the load, you know, upwards of 20 times a game this season in a way he hadn't quite done before. And Higdon breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Higdon is the first Michigan back to run for more than 1,000 yards since 2011. He has a chance to ride himself into Michigan record books and really leave a legacy as one of the better backs that has played at this school, and obviously there have been a lot of good ones. To go to Hunt as a top 10 back at this university probably be one of the biggest accomplishments of my life. Hickton to the house at the big house, 67 yards. It's a serious thing here. You know, I, I see how much they value their running backs and how hard it is to knock that top 10. So to say I've accomplished that would be heartfelt for me. I graduated in May this spring. Becoming a college graduate meant a lot to my family because I was a first generation college student. No one in my family has ever graduated um, from a four year institution. I was the first to do it, so it's a tremendous accomplishment. Before Ann Arbor, I was living in Sarasota, Florida. We decided to move up here to make it a lot easier for him to uh, transition into college. And that was the sole reason, just to be a support system for him. My mom felt that would be best, be able to be here and be able to support me and make it to my games. They made the move and transition the same time I did, and it's meant everything to have my family here. My daughter is Kaya Hickna. Nope. She's three years old. She'll be four in two weeks. Nope. 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 I just saw some cavities in your mouth. <laughs> How many? In your mouth. How many cavities do you have, Kaya? I get to see her smile, run up to me, scream, Daddy, Daddy. You know, we'll talk about her day, talk about my day. Ooh. <laughs> Your breast stink. <laughs> you breast stink. You, you have cavity. <laughs> just enjoy time, kind of, you know, take my mind off of reality and just enjoy life as it is. Put your hand. Open them up. <laughs> He's very attentive to Kaya. He's loving, caring. It's all around a great father. I thought you said you were going for the right team. I'm going for the right team. Because <laughs> they score, right? She's the reason I do this. She's the reason I go as hard as I do. And she's my motivation each and every day. I think I've put thousands of hours in this stadium, in this facility. My favorite moment was walking out this tunnel for the first time. Seeing 100,000 people screaming, yelling, lights everywhere. You don't know what's happening as an 18-year-old kid. Having that feeling is something that will stick with me forever. It hasn't hit me yet. 
it hasn't hit me yet that I'll be playing my final game. But I think the closer and closer it gets and the more it becomes a reality, I think the more it'll hit me. And finally, our two captains, parents of running back and 2018 offensive captain, Karan Higdon, Samantha Christian, and Karan Higdon Sr. It'll be emotional. It'll be emotional, but it'll be a happy moment. And I get one last chance to play in front of the fans here at the Michigan Stadium on that field and make a lasting impression. Michigan trails by two on first and goal from the Indiana two. They give it to Higdon. Higdon pounds over left tackle. He's in! Touchdown, Michigan! Michigan will win the football game. <laughs> Last year, man, I didn't even realize it, dog. That's so weird, man. You're a hell of you, you're my idol, man. You're my idol. Love you, bro. Love you so much. We made it, bro. Love you, Woo! Boy. Last game, last game. And you got a honey.